Skype hit a new record last month, reaching 30 million users online using the service at the same time. Were you one of them? If not, and you fancy riding the Skype wave, here's an easy and quick guide on how to use it. Firstly, what version of Skype do you need? When you first download Skype from their website, you will need to decide what version of Skype you want. Skype is compatible with most computers and you can also download it for mobile and for some TVs. Question is, do you go free or paid? Well, there are several different options. Free Skype allows you to make Skype to Skype calls and one to one video calls, as well as instant messaging and screen sharing. The pay as you go model lets you make discounted calls to phones and send text messages. There's a subscription service that offers discounted phone rates to subscribers and if you really want to go all out, there's Skype Premium, which also means that you can have a video group calling. Today we're going to look at free Skype. Setting up Skype. Once you have downloaded Skype, you'll be asked to set up an account, adding all the usual profile type details such as your name and location. When you're done, you can log in and start finding friends and contacts. There is a tool that will look for contacts you may know through people you have on your email account. So even if you don't know all of your Skype contact details, then you can find them. Similar to Facebook, when you add a friend, Skype asks you to send them an invitation requesting their friendship. They accept and you start messaging or calling them. Your Skype profile. To complete your profile, you can upload a picture of yourself and go into more detail about your likes and dislikes in the About Me section. You can also link your Facebook account to your Skype one and find friends and chat away. Video calling. What makes Skype so brilliant, of course, is the free video calls, making it easier for more people to stay in touch like never before. Firstly, for video calls, you will require a webcam. Many laptops and desktops come with webcams inbuilt this, these days, so check it out before you go off and buy one. The phone conversation. A phone conversation works much like a video call but without the webcam. All you need to do is select the contact from the left hand navigation where your contacts are displayed and then press call. If the person you're trying to call is not logged into Skype then you will not be able to get through unless you're directly calling their mobile or landline but this will cost you money. Don't forget to turn the computer speakers on so you can hear the other person and make sure you have a microphone to speak into. Check if your computer has one before going out and buying it. When a call comes in, it should make a loud bubble type noise that the Skype screen will show you the contact who's calling you. To answer, all you have to do is press answer call. Along with calls, Skype also has a messaging system much like MSN Messenger and Facebook Chat. It's very easy to use and allows you to have more than one conversation on the go. To start a message, all you have to do is click on the username of the contact in the left hand navigation and you will be able to start messaging them in their message inbox. Pressing enter and away you go. There are many cool features included in Skype which can really make the user experience easier. This includes the ability to set up on Wi-Fi enabled on mobile phones so you can receive Skype calls on your phone and even make Skype calls too. For more information, check out Plugged In for a more depth guide.